Question, you ready? What is your feeling, this is a good question, what is your feeling on landlocked properties and how much do you discount uh, the offer price? That's from Ken G, must be Ken Green. Ken is that Green. you, Ken Green? So, I, look at, it's not that I, it, when we look at an area, we go into a very specific area. And I think if there's one landlocked property, we're probably thinking like Nevada, there's a whole bunch of them. So, it's not, I'm going to price the whole area accordingly. I, I think that's my first answer. I'm going to price it accordingly. Um, and, uh, does that make sense? Like, cause I, I think of landlocked, I typically think of like Nevada and you're going to see large areas that are going to be quote unquote landlocked. Um, but, um, uh, I would price the whole area accordingly. I don't know if I just discount cause I'm not going to go through, I don't go, if we're doing the, here's the thing, when we do our offers, we're not going to go through property by property. We're going to grab an area and price it. When it comes back, now you might be saying when it comes back and for due diligence purposes or when we're researching it to make a, uh, a, a decision on buying it, I am most certainly going to say to them, oh, this is landlocked and, and I'm going to discount and I'm going to use that um, to my advantage to get a better price. So I guess that's the way I'd answer that. Yeah, I think for me, that question comes during the due diligence period. So exactly like you said we're not analyzing that prior to offering uh or prior to doing our county research or or pricing or that type of thing we're analyzing a particular situation during the due diligence period and yeah i mean we had a whole show one of our first shows zeno in our first year was uh the what we had like five ways to uh five negotiation tactics on the buy side right I love that. You know what we think? We're, good, we're talking about another nightcap musical. Is it 50 ways to leave your lover? Stand out the back, Jack. Get a new plan, Stan. We could have that for land. <laughs> we could have that for land. 50 ways to sell your land. I We had a term for it, though. I can't remember what it was. It was like the... Um, I can't remember what it was, but... But, yeah, I mean, uh, you know, if if when you're doing your due diligence, you determine, hey... I like this four acre parcel, but it's a mile off the road. Um, that's going to affect my price. And I'm going to have a conversation with that potential seller. And I'm going to say, listen, when I offered you this dollar amount, we thought it had road access. In our research, we found out it does not have road access. And yeah. anyway, go ahead. No, no, I was going to say something Mark said years ago. We always use something that's like odd about a property to devalue it. But then when we sell it, we turn around and use it to value the property, increase exactly. the value. So it could be, uh, it's landlocked. I can't get to it. Then you sell it. No neighbors. Nobody will be near you. Um, oh, there's a wash through it. I can't, I'm sorry. Um, I'm going to have to, I, I'd love to offer you 2000. It's got a wash. I can sell it for a thousand. Then somebody seasonal else. Seasonal stream. River. Seasonal stream. <laughs> it's got a seasonal stream right down the middle. <laughs> it, that's uh... true. You, 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 you tend to do that, but it's it just shows you this whole thing is perception. Yeah. It's a little too hilly. There's a little bit too much of a grade. You can build a home on stilts. <laughs> yes. yeah. oh, it, it's the true statement, though. It just shows yeah. you everything um, is is perception. And it can be you can change perception like that. Um, so I think that that's a good answer, though. I think that we're not going to just price property by property that would just be forever we can't we can do it we don't want to do it we're not going to take that kind of time uh, and, and labor over each price we're going to say here's your price they reply whatever people come back to us with uh with offers and counter offers we'll check those properties out and we'll act accordingly and of course if there's an issue we're going to devalue we De that's what we do we negotiate we devalue we negotiate. That's right. The negotiator. Mike Zeno. That's your backstory. Former negotiator, physical therapist, Scott Bosman. <laughs>